Good morning, good brothers and good sisters, and praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, my dear brothers and sisters. Welcome you to another edition of the Daily Word. Father, yes. Point your gun at them. <laughs> take it off. <laughs> okay. Now, a drunkard returned home late in the evening. So today, a lot of drunkards are okay. returned late at home and impressed his wife that he's not uh, truly drunk. He's still sober. Yeah. He just took out his book and started reading. And the food was set on the table yeah. and the wife looked at the husband and said, um, What are you doing? He said, I am reading the book, can't you see? Uh -huh. The wife said, I know you are drunk today. It is not the book that you opened. You opened your suitcase. Close your suitcase and come for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the best ones are the drunkards who do a lot of things. No? A lot of oh good my things, yeah. God, fantastic. <laughs> Praise yes. the Lord. Oh, Hallelujah. Yes. Father, yeah. again we are coming to a topic that is yeah. rampant today is the youth. The youth are hardly seen in the churches today yeah. or in any religious places yeah. for a simple reason they believe that they belong to the world outside. Yeah. They believe that it's a time for them to enjoy. Religion comes later on in life and then you see the internet taking them away. If you go to a house these days where there are children and the parents, you'll see the parents in a different world, the children in a different world. Each one onto his mobile or onto his laptop and they are into a different world. Well, Father, what exactly and how should we come out of this problem? Yeah. Especially the youth. We please advise you how they should stay away from us. Yeah. A few days ago, a little child came to me and, uh, you know, the child was in pain. The little girl said, Father, because other day I preached about, you know, family, give time to each other in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the child said, Father, good that you give that sermon. Why is there is a lot of pain on the, in the eyes of the child, I could see. Oh. At home, those three are on their own and when you are preaching, they are laughing today. I said, oh, my mother, father and my brother, mm -hmm. they are always on the internet, always on the mobile. Oh, there is nobody to talk to me, I am alone. Yeah, it is the biggest evil Even today in the yes. internet. Yes, yes, yes. It is one of the greatest invention of the human intelligence. Right? Yes, the yes. God has given the power and ability to human persons. Correct. So, for the inventive skills, you have to thank God for that. Okay? Yes, yes. Because of this internet, we are able to connect to the oh, world. Today. Yes, so we are yes. living in a global village today. Correct. So I can call to my people any part of the world today and talk to them face to face with right. the uh, internet invention. Exactly. It has done a lot of good because for the information today, you don't have to go to the library to look for a book. You just go to the Google and you know type what you want and you get it. Immediately. But the sad part of it today. You see, whenever it is something concerned with the faith, something concerned with the knowledge, people do not want to use the internet that is available. Yes, yes. You know, for me, you know, a lot of people, when they have the Bible quiz, something connected with the faith, yeah. they immediately, you know, send a message, Father, uh, please answer for me this question of the Bible. Please answer for me this question is asked about the faith and all. Yeah, yeah. I, I ask them, stupid people, internet is there to answer you all your questions. So such yeah. a great invention is there. Today, yes. But we do not use it for a right thing. But we are using it for wrong thing. Um, Especially the youth of today yes, uh, yes. become addicted to oh. the internet. Yes. And they find solace in that. You see the youth always, you know, putting to caps into their ears, always on the mobile, mobile, mobile. Right. Now, how much harm it has done for you? Yes. It is destroying your eardrums. And one doctor told me even that I had gone for, I had some problem in my ears. Yeah. He first asked, do you put the earphones? I said, once in a year because I am working in the office, where my staff are also are there because I cannot listen to certain talks and all those yeah. things. You know? right. I have to listen to certain talks to prepare my talks. Right, 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 right. So he said, you avoid it. And from that day on, still today, I never use the earphones. Oh. He said, today the the uh, patient those who come to him for treatment are the youth. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, because they are involved in the mobile and putting those yeah. things in the ears. Okay. Now, what has happened? Because of this internet and the family relationships have become weaker, weaker, weaker. Because one thing I said, we have the big house yes. and uh, we have private individual rooms. And what happens? Because I am in an individual room and internet connection is there, the devil has taken control over us and we are addicted to all this evil, especially the pornography. Yes, yes. And all that that is presented in the media, the yes, Facebook, yes. WhatsApp, Instagram, or all that you say. Yes. Everything is taken control of us that day by day, day by day, the taste is increased and 
there is lot of uh, uh, dimin- uh, the faith has diminished spiritual life is diminished it's yeah. not only faith life it is even the social life is diminished, diminished. Diminish. we are not able to communicate with each other Correct. it has distorted our health Correct. our life has been destroyed Amen. we have become enemies to each other today the internet the very purpose was meant to connect each other yes. but it has divided us yes. it has brought lot of division within the family, family. for example being in the family we are connected to the world who are not our own yeah, yeah, yeah. and we have failed mm. to relate to our family members correct so much so the parents to call the children for the meals they have to send a message or make a call I today we have reached to that pathetic condition yeah, very pathetic there is a joke what has happened today it is a joke yes but one man you know having talked with a lady and the lady called him mm-hmm. so he is asking her, why you did not pick my phone when I called you because of husband He says, oh, it's his audio. He thought she was a young chick, like, you know, that's yeah. what he says. Yeah. Huh? So, married and has a husband, and again, okay. Then what happened? You'd have called after you, oh, he has left the office. You know, he left the office, then why didn't you have to call me after that? No, no, after that, I had to care for the baby was crying, so I was caring for the baby. Oh, my God, this chick has already laid eggs also. That's <laughs> not the word he's used, that means as a children. <laughs> then he continues, oh, my God, and says, okay, how old is the baby? He says, it is not my baby, my daughter's baby. Oh, so he befriended a somebody, a wrong person. So this is, I'm not saying it is maybe a joke there. Yeah. But we befriend the wrong people on the internet and today a lot of evil. Yes. You have been cheated, deceived and you know, people are extracting money from you Correct. online. I know one of my far relative, yeah. somebody befriended her saying that your children are so beautiful cute and i want to help and all the blah 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 so many things went on and this lady went on giving money to that person that person said i'm going to give you money yeah but you give me little money then again went on the con man you know went on hypnotizing this person and extracted a huge huge amount of money and it's not only that person there are so many people who have become victims yes. today yes. because of the use of this internet Amen. and not becoming aware that i have been deceived cheat and you know, yes the internet is another devil it's the work of the devil the apple that has come into our world again to take us away mm-hmm. from god from our own people from the right path and leading us astray so my dear brothers and sisters it is a sickness but you can overcome yes with the grace of god there's nothing impossible for god Correct. it's only your desire yes. and we are not here to condemn those who are gone astray or those who are become addicted to the internet whatever may be that thing okay? yes, yes yes none of us, none of you are condemned god loves you amen you know amen. that god loves you and we also love you and god's face but, is mercy yeah. but we are there to help you out yes so we have to study so go to a good counselor explain your difficulty don't hesitate i know don't feel ashamed to talk what is happening there are a lot of people who have come out the youth themselves on their own they express their desire to come out and change and they have changed and i know at least there are two to three persons who have come to me in the past few days yeah that they have changed right you too can change yeah man or come the desire amen. for all this you know the addiction to internet yes yeah. father you know they should know very well that when they go to a priest for confession or counseling there is nothing that he has not heard he has uh, gone through all the cases all the priests okay so when you go they do not get scared oh if i'm going to tell him i'm a addict i'm a drug addict i'm an alcoholic i'm this and that. they are here to help you out that that is the purpose but one thing is that not so much in the confession because we do not have yes. much time, time to help you yeah, yeah. but better that if you go for confession confess your sin as it is yes and then speak to the priest say that father you i want to talk something more for your counseling personal counseling yes. can yes. i come to you and take an appointment go and meet and share yourself we are there to help you the priests are there to help the people those who are in difficulty amen yeah. amen father let's pray yeah. for the youth god almighty father we thank and praise you for all our youth there is blessing there the strength of the church there the strength of the society of nation yes there is tremendous energy that is in them hallelujah but the sad fact is that is wrongly diverted and used for something that is not fruitful and useful yes lord. but lord they have the desire yes lord. every youth has the desire for truth hallelujah give us the grace especially the elders the parents and the leaders of the church and the society yes lord to channelize this energy on the right path so that help this youth to seek you and to do good and to be of uh, 
great uh, help in your kingdom yes we are this in the name of jesus the lord amen, amen. the amen. lord be with you and with your spirit the almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen, amen. amen. jesus loves you especially the youth yes jesus loves you so much yes thank you okay be there god bless you god will be always with you yes. you surrender yourselves yes. to the lord amen have a great day Thank you.